Hello everyone. My name is Nam Gyu Park from Sungyeonggan University, Korea. I have been working on dye sensitized solar cell since 1997. Currently, I'm managing next generation photovoltaics laboratory here in Sungyeonggan University. In our lab, we have been studying design and synthesis of nanomaterials and device fabrication for high efficiency and long term durable sensitized mesoscopic solar cells. Recently, we have been focusing on perovskite and quantum dot uh, sensitizers. In our perspective paper, published recently in Journal of Physical Chemistry Letters, progress on solid state sensitized solar cell was described. Especially, methyl ammonium lead iodide sensitized was emphasized because of superb photovoltaic performance. Actually, a quantum jump in the solid state sensitized solar cell did not happen until perovskite sensitized was applied as a light harvester. Breakthrough was made by our group in August year 2012 using methyl ammonium lead iodide perovskite, where several micrometer thick titanium oxide film sensitized with perovskite showed a record efficiency of 9.7%. Thanks to this noticeable achievement, conversion efficiency more than 15% was achieved in a very short period when it is used as a light harvester. And what the realistic efficiency is expected from the perovskite light harvester? To answer this question, we will investigate the structure and optical property of perovskite sensitizer. First of all, let me briefly introduce the structure of solid state sensitized solar cell. Dye sensitized solar cell can be classified into two types. One is a liquid type and the other is solid state type. In liquid type, mesoporous titanium oxide film is deposited on tissue conductive substrate where titanium oxide surface is modified with a sensitizer. The count electrode is composed of a platinum or carbon with a catalytic property. In between two electrodes, you have liquid redox electrolyte. It has been concerned that the drawback in liquid type DSSC is leakage of liquid electrolyte. To solve this problem, solid state structure is proposed, in which liquid electrolyte can be simply replaced with solid hole conductors such as spiromyotide, as can be seen in the right figure. What is perovskite? The general formula of perovskite is ABX3. A cation is coordinated with 12 X anions forming cubo-octahedral geometry, while B cation forms octahedral geometry. Methyl ammonium and lead cation in the perovskite sensitized are thus occupied in A and B sites respectively. The organometal halide perovskite can be stabilized as either two-dimensional or three-dimensional structure. External binding energy is smaller for three-dimensional structure than for two-dimensional structure. Moreover, band gap energy of three-dimensional structure is lower than that of two-dimensional structure because dispersive covalent characteristics. The three-dimensional structure is optically better for solar cell application. In 1998, solid-state sensitized solar cell was first uh, proposed, uh, but the efficiency was poor, less than 1%. Until year 2011, no significant progress was made in solid-state sensitized solar cell. A breakthrough technology was developed in year 2012 using perovskite light harvester, which provides a turning point in mesoporous uh, solar cell technology. The efficiency is now approaching 15%. We actually attempted to improve conversion efficiency by a modification of perovskite coating, and we got 13.8% with a port current density of uh, 23 milliamps per square centimeter and more than uh, 1,000 millivolt. However, fill factor was as low as uh, 0.55. If fill factor is increased to more than uh, 0 0.7, 17 to 18% is possible. My name is Hee Sung Kim. I'm a PhD student studying perovskite based solid state solar cell. 
Even though methane ammonia like tree iodide is very unstable in liquid type solar cell, it has extremely high absorption coefficient. Ten times higher than that of ruthenium based molecular N719 dye. On the other hand, in solid state solar cell, we were suffering from its limited titanium dioxide film thickness around 2 micrometers, which allows much smaller dye absorption than liquid type. Here we got a hint and decided to apply methane ammonium lettery iodide into solid state solar cell. First of all, energy levels of material were aligned. As you can see, the band alignment is okay for the device operation. The perovskite precursor solution is dropped on the prepared titanium dioxide film and spin coated. Spin coated film is consecutively heated at 100 degrees C. Then whole transport material is deposited by spin coating. Lastly, gold is evaporated as a counter electrode. Perovskite light harvest is pretty much challengeable and promising material for high efficiency and also low cost next generation solar cell technology. Thank you.